And for the first time, we're seeing that that third possible location would look like a large barn on a separate property, but very nearby this Union Hill area. And uh, so Dan Carroll's up in Chopper 9 right now. And he continues to look over the scene you're talking about. So that's the third area. And we toss it up to Dan with the very latest. And do you see what type of activity do you see from your perspective there, Dan? Well, uh, yeah, this is uh, with, during the commercial break a couple of, couple of breaks ago. I was uh, looking around the area even farther out. And then uh, we're about another mile or so down the road. And then we see this trailer home, which uh, has crime scene tape around the front of the trailer home and uh, we saw some uh, what appeared to be uh, police officers and investigators out front there and then uh, w while Jay was talking we saw this area that appears to be uh, looks to me to be a junkyard and, and uh, we see a mobile home and then a large barn and then we saw a couple of guys in what appeared to be hazmat suits and uh, a couple of other personnel walking through the woods back to what I think is a barn partially blocked by these trees I'm gonna have to go around and get a better look at that. But they walk through uh, p between the home and the barn you see in the picture here, and then back into this area. And there you can see the the two uh, the two men in the white suits, the white jumpsuits, the looks like the biohazard suits uh, out in this area. And it looks like they may uh, appear to be entering another structure on this piece of property. So earlier, when we were talking about the possibility of three different crime scenes, I think we've uh, figured out now exactly what they were talking about. We saw the one home earlier where the majority of the police officers and investigators are gathered. Then about a mile down the road, there's another mobile home and then a second mobile home. And this mobile home is in front of a junkyard. And now it appears they are looking into uh, another building that is on this property. It looks like uh, to me to be another barn that they're looking at, uh, at least checking out the perimeter right now and uh, maybe preparing to, uh, to go into that building to find some additional evidence. So uh, we were talking about that earlier, about how widespread this crime scene is. And uh, now that uh, we've had a better chance to get a look at it, we can tell you that is exactly the case, that this is spread out what appears to me to be over about a mile or a mile and a half.